music. In here, so I just got back from England, which was lovely, by the way. I don't know, I was weird to be in a country that is essentially my country's first enemy was them. But then also like we have the most in common, but then again, I also felt like I had more in common with Germany. I, it was very weird, very weird. I was more afraid in England than I was in Germany, but I knew the language. Like you'd think you'd be more nervous. One of these is an important thing for that. Not this, that's not it. I'm going with this guy right here. Boom. Shandling H5 leather case. Oh, my plant of fascia. If you know what that is, it's when you have bruised heels. And the only way to prevent it from rebruising is to not walk. It's great fun. Anyway, I, I aggravated the fuck out of that the very first day in England. Because I just, it was, just bent my fucking nail. I just bent my nail back because they're slightly long because I haven't cut them because I was in England. I was like, I'll clip them when I get home. They delayed my flight. They canceled my flight. Anywho, here is the leather case. It arrived the day I left. And I really needed it because I picked a quite not safe for works sticker for the cover for the top of this one. Because I love it that much. And look what it would have done. I would have been able to slide this on over. This leather, actual shandling leather case would have been perfectly fucking fine. And she would have poked out and be like, ah, ha, ha, ha. And then I would have known there's titties in there. But no. Anyway, so that's what that's for. Let's shut this baby off. She did well. She did real well. Her temporary bra was blue tack. How cute that is. Okay, so now, now that's a Shanling H5 case. I'm going to throw that. I'm going to throw this. Cool. I'll throw that in there. Throw that in there. Throw that in there this in there um i guess i'll just do a bunch i i gotta go cut my fucking nails and use my bidet i missed a bidet all these quote-unquote civilized countries have no fucking bidets they expect me to wipe my own ass oh free health care free health care fuck you machine clean my ass i don't want to touch shit i don't get shit in my hands especially in hotel fucking uh toilet paper you never know when it's just gonna be like you know what I don't exist. What is this? Hi Figo has sent me the Foodoo verse one. What? Fuck you, douche. F U D U. Okay, we've got some stuff. And the space travel from Moondrop. Oh my god, it's a true wireless. I was actually just talking to someone on the plane about true wireless. Someone who pointed out like they like the wire on the uh, Moon Moon River 2. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's a wire, it's a little portable deck. Yeah, but yeah, I have a thing called a, like a, a mojo. And I'm like, a mojo. You have a chored mojo too. And it's like, yeah, yeah, so what I got. And then it was like the, la it was, the plane was literally landing when I discovered the person next to me the entire flight was into audio. But not like, he said, I'm not an audiophile. I would just have like 10 headphones. And I'm like, motherfucker. <laughs> hate to tell you this. I hate to break it down. But I got him to subscribe to the channel. And I'll probably, he'll, he's gonna look for the, the Moondrop, the, uh, I'm sorry, the Harmonitine Eris when he comes out. He sampled it for like 30 seconds with his own music. It's like, yo, that's clean. And I'm like, yo, I know. There's something in here, but I don't understand. We have a black and white waifu. Was there any waifu on the packaging? Is this it? Is this the size of the waifus? We, that's a thumb sized waifu. Foam here, and then it's like a slidey case. I don't just, I gotta just pry this open. There we go, I'm pried it open. Wait, we've got a waifu's ear, the space travel waifu ear. I don't know if that counts. Uh, quality control pass, more Chinese only, and the very, very, oh my God. Didn't they used to give these away in Cracker Jack boxes? Like, I'm old enough to remember Cracker Jack boxes with prizes, and one of them used to be like comic books. They were like this fucking small, and I'm like, <sighs> I guess I have to read that. USB-C cable, a bunch of tips. Let's look at the actual IMs. Charge on the bottom. Interesting off-white color. It says space travel from Moondrop. I don't. 
So you literally, you just slide that up. So I don't actually have a case that opens or closes. These just sort of like, it's kind of cool actually. I can respect that. I think that's backwards though. This would be this way. Yeah, yeah. See, that's, see that's, not a, that's not a guaranteed hit because if you go up only that far and you try to grab it, you're gonna push it back down. So you gotta come up so far that it like falls out. It's, it's a good idea and then I ruin it with just usability. Like it doesn't come up, if it, if it comes out all the way and you like really hold it to the last like two millimeters, you can get your finger on the tip, which is a standard silicone tip. Let's get these in my ears. I might as well fucking pair them. It just went doo doo doo. I swear to God, they just went doo doo doo. That's, what the fuck, is that them? I don't know what that is. I feel like that's something in my house trying to steal my identity. Oh my God, there's a robot lolly. I either love or hate these. Connected. That was, that was, that was severe. That was, they don't fit. I don't have the tips in right, but I mean. Yeah, I need to make them fit. But they're connected. There's pause. Is it a swipe? Where's this one? Touch and hold. I don't know. Anyway, interesting case. I, like getting it back in is like, it's gonna take some getting used to. All right, let's move you. And we'll do one more. I'm not gonna keep the packaging for this. It's just plastic. There's no, it's not, it's not worth my while. Let's do a nice, let's do the other two from Amazon because I literally don't remember. I think we have anime stickers. Did it! Fucking got it in the fucking gap. Yeah, motherfucker, are there titties on this? There are, they're big exposed titties. All right, so these are, uh, well, anime stickers with titties because I want to have them all, and if I see a pack that has stickers I think I don't have, I want to have them all. So, I'm going to keep buying them until they run out, and they, once they stop being like $5, I'll, I'll... Hey, look, it's the correct one. I bought the wrong one. Yeah, I had fucked up and bought the wrong size Flex Edge. For the, I bought the KP5T for the 5 quart, and this is the 6. What time is it for me? Because I woke up at f 4... 20 a.m. in England to, to take a 745 flight that landed at 1030 and it's a it was a seven hour flight so that's just like time zones man how do they work oh. so now this should be plugged in and then this should you hear it hitting and scraping that's good news bears good news bears is hitting and scraping by the way hitting and scraping totally my favorite rap album can i get a second one can i do it twice not even a little bit all right oh i didn't open this thing the Fudu verse one. I guess I have to do that one. It's a Tangzu, so of course it's called the Fudu verse one. Not the Princess Shangzi or whatever the fuck the other Tangzu was. One of the Tangzus had a normal name, didn't it? They are on sheets though, which is very annoying. They're not like the normal thing. Norma super full color print. So here's my hope. All right, let me, let me go back to the anime stickers with the titties for a second, because this is a story of hope. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna piss off some people. I can tell you this much. It's gonna piss, my hope will piss some people off. Um, but all these stickers I've ever bought, the stickers I've put, uh, fuck, I mean, this artwork here, 
highly doubt they commissioned an artist and paid them. The titty girl that's on the Shanling, they just stole that image from the internet. But now AI is around. So all of these stolen pieces of artwork that are from a real artist that I don't know how to draw nipples and everything, this should stop now. This shouldn't be a thing because you can't copyright AI art. There was already a fucking thing that came out and said you can't copyright it because you didn't make it. So that means you can just hit titty picture of an anime girl a hundred times with a white outline and don't fuck it up and then shrink it to the size of a sticker and make thousands of millions of iterations of imaginary sticker girls that aren't copyright infringing anything. That's the hope. That's the hope. Now, here's the thing. Artists will say, but they should be paying us. But at the same time, no one who's printing these in China and putting them on Amazon for $7 for 100 is going to pay you anyway. So pick one. It's like the argument from Napster when the music companies were like, well, you downloaded $40 million in music, so we're going to sue you for that amount. Bitch, I was never going to buy that music anyway. Like, they never were. These were, these were teenagers who didn't have any money. They were never going to buy it. The, the fact that it was available was just like, all right, now here it is. They, were now, they didn't like, like you, would, you, would, you wouldn't download a car. I totally fucking would. I would totally download a car. You're, you're dumb. You're the stupidest campaign I've ever seen. Anyway, this is a, uh, a collaboration between Tang Zhu and Divinis. I don't absolutely hate this layout so far. We have got, ooh, the fuck are those? Weirdly textured dips. Tang Sang guys. Divinius, which is very weirdly like long tips. Okay, so maybe that's a Divinius is just a, K, a tip manufacturer. We've got the Fashionista case, which I don't know if I like the way the zipper ends that way. It's fine over here. Here it just sort of fades to like an unzippable um, like angle, which isn't really a way you should end a zipper. And then here we have, oh, it's got two separate areas. It makes crunchy noises. Interesting little wallet though. What the fuck is this wire? See, you, IEMs for some reason still are fascinating to me. If you're not subscribed to this channel, just to see me unbox a million different fucking cheap or expensive IEMs, just to know that, okay, this is a four wire weave, right? Right, 4.4 .4 on the end, perfectly normal. Uh, four wire weave, a little bit loose stranded. But then we come up and we got like, oh, never mind. I thought it was an actual ribbon cable that twisted. It's just a two wire weave. Boring. I mean, it's fine. Kind of reminds me of the soft ears, but less nice. Um, and then we have what looks to be a just a piece of metal. I thought that was a pin, like a moon, like a Ico gives you. Pushing these out the back, like the eye sockets of a person. And they're very, very, very black IMs. Oh, they're see-through. Okay, that's it. I have nothing else to say about that. And I'm going to stop this review here because it's got, I have to put this shit away with so many fucking boxes. And then I got to look at the stickers and complain that they're not stolen. Complain that they are stolen and that they're not generated from learned art. I've, I've, let me just get this out of the way right now. I don't think having AI look at your art is stealing. Because any up and coming artist, you'd want them to look at your art and study it and then try to reproduce it and add their own flair. And essentially AI is doing that just times a million. It's just really good at being like, hey, draw like this guy or draw like that guy. It still needs to learn. I'm okay with AI learning. And you don't learn from books and you can't just, you just gotta give it, you, you take it to the Louvre and say, look, art. You take it to manga artists and say, look, art. It's just like a child, you know, you wouldn't hold back art from a child because he doesn't have legal rights to look at your art and learn from what you've done. It's, it's not how learning works. And I'm okay with AI learning. Just don't kill me in a nuclear fire. That's, the, that's my big concern. Steve, I'm guy, take a break from the, uh, that's nice on the tuck in the corner. Take a break from the food cooking video because Echo, a read notification. One new notification from Amazon Shopping. Two shipments have arrived, including shoe. Shoe. 
shoe, not shoes. Imagine if you had to buy shoes separately and you had to like, like no one carried the same size. So you had to just keep ordering shoes until you had matching shoes. Like it'd be so hard to get matching shoes. Like you're fucking aristocratic. I'm imagining in the future, like that's gonna be a thing. Like after the apocalypse. Anyway, I bought a lot of shoes recently. I don't know what it is. It's just one of those, like it's $40. These are $44 Merrells. And it's one of those things that's like, it's kind of a life mantra of mine in everything but women. It's like, I want to have 27 of the, of the same thing. If I use a pencil here and then I go downstairs and need that pencil and I go to the garage and need a pencil. Why do I have one pencil? I need 27 pencils. And it's the same thing with anime waifus and it's the same thing with TV shows and cars. You never want to have one of anything. So I'm just like, if I have 12 shoes, but not like a woman who's like, oh, I want to ma mix and match with it. I want to just, I want 12 shoes because if I wear one shoe one day a week, it'll last for fucking ever. Whereas, you know, I remember back in the day, I used to have one shoe, one pair of shoes. I would get up, put on my shoes, go out, put, come home, take off my shoes, go to the movies, put the same shoes on. It was never multiple shoes. So now I'm just like, well, why don't I just keep buying shoes? Are these the same color as the previous shoes I got? I tried to get different color. Let me see. I may have gotten the exact same color, which is gonna make this real fucking confusing. Confusing. Yeah, a little different. Maybe is maybe. Let's see. These look more gray, and those look more white. Yeah, yeah, yeah those are tanner. Tanner. Anyway, I took these to Germany. These are an eleven and a half. I usually wear a twelve, and I'm like, I bought an eleven and a half for some reason. I can't wear these with socks. So they became barefoot shoes, which is fine because they're brand new. It's not skeevy, which brand new shoes with feet in them. And I put new Skechers insoles in them and I wore these around Munich and they started fucking up my heel in the back because I'm not used to wearing like sockless shoes. But my God, they were comfy for like short bouts, an hour, two hours, fine, four or five hours walking a lot. Not great. So I bought a size 12. Um, same exact shoe, the Merrells. I'm gonna take out this stupid insole, which is just, it's just garbage. This is the hottest garbage, but these are 12s. And we're gonna see now if I pop the insoles out, if I can put this on with new insoles and socks, cause then I'll wear them as regular shoes. Cause I had a set of these years and years and years and years and years ago. If I go watch the beginning of the unboxing channel, I had a brown set of these. My brother got me on sale for like 80 or $90. And they were like the nicest shoes I had. And they're waterproof. Um, oh, damn. I bought a no brand, no name brand. Pasta, you're just gonna have to find it in the thing. But this is memory foam, like thick memory foam. So I wanna see. Interesting, this one has like red down the back of it. Basically, I'm a, I'm a huge proponent of buy shoes immediately take the insoles out this this is crap this is crap this is this is doing nothing for you i tried them and i was like oh my god look at the thickness of the that is i may not fit in these just because of how thick this is all right let's let's get them in there i wasn't even gonna try this is just size 12 size 12 go down i might use these for the barefoot version these are fucking sweet all right Take off my Skechers. What size is this? Oh boy. Oh boy, here we go. Please fit. Please fit. It fits. Man, that's comfy. Holy shit, it was a $10 set of insoles. Don't be afraid to buy a $10 set of insoles for a $40 shoe or a $100 shoe. Every shoe seems to have shitty insoles. Man, that's comfy as fuck. And they fit with socks. And they're waterproof, so. I've got the dark set, which are the barefoot set. Which is great. I also got the Skechers, which are a barefoot set. And now I have the lighter set, which is just, I'm walking on a fucking cloud. This has got Germany dirt on the bottom. I, I danced on a table, on a club. Pasta got the gift today. If Pasta, remember the gift of me 
pulling out those fucking sick moves in the dance club in fucking Germany. She remembers. She's wet thinking about it. Of course, she's in the shower watching these videos. That's, what, do you, what do you think she is? She's sweating. We're so hot in Canada. Anyway, so, yeah, I'm still a little bit sick from Germany. Um, I love Skechers and I love Merrells. Those are the two shoes I'm going to go with. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. These are REM good. These are fucking REM good, which is a lie because that means REM good. Because Shut up. 